Well, hello and welcome. It's Pamela Simons. And I wanted to take a moment or two to run through the usage of Launchpad. So many of you are quite familiar with Launchpad. So I'm going to just kind of make sure you're familiar with all the features that I love. So hang on two secs. I'm just going to switch my screen for you. All right, so coming into Launchpad, the web address is launchpad.remax.com, and then you will automatically get to the login. By the way, if you're on the Agents Tool page, you will actually see that there's a link to Launchpad on the Tools page. So I can click there, that will take me to the same place. So two ways to get there, either directly through the URL or uh, using the, the doorway on our agent tools page. All right, once you're here, you're going to enter in your username and password. Now, the username is going to be the email address that you provided to, uh, to Jackie and to Remax at the time you registered with us. And a password will be there, but if you don't remember your password, no big deal, just click on forgot password and you will start the process of getting a new password. So that will come to your email address follow those instructions and create a password. Now, if you're using one computer all the time, you might choose the option, remember me, so that you don't have to worry about remembering your password every time, and it will be plugged in so that every time you come in to uh, Launchpad, your details are listed. All right, so I'm just gonna log in now. So Launchpad is the doorway provided by Remax to give you access to all sorts of great tools and features. Now, if you are a team member, there is an option of team view or individual view, and it will show you some details under the team goals. If you're an individual, you can just switch it to individual, and it will show you information pertaining to your individual goals. One of the features that I like about the individual goals is if you do have some plans to achieve certain results during the year, you can plug those details in by clicking update goals and plugging in uh, the information that you would like to achieve throughout the year. And then it will help keep, tra keep track of that and it will show you a chart that lets you know whether or not you're on target or following a little bit behind on achieving your goals. So I highly recommend it. All right, so starting at the top of Launchpad, you'll see that there are three lines here. If you click on those three lines, you'll see that there probably isn't a picture of you if you're new to Launchpad, but if you've been using it for a bit, then there probably is something. The next thing that's here is something called Update Profile, Resources, Links, Change Password, and Log Out. So we're gonna head up to Update Profile. Now, the first time you come in to update your profile, you may wanna have access to your photo along with know the links to your certain social media channels so that you can plug all of those in. So there will be some details showing here if you've logged in before. However, we're gonna come straight over to the edit profile. And when you edit profile, there's a series of fields that you will fill out or check boxes. Very limited in terms of the content that you actually have to type. I'm sorry, it's a little bit slow getting in here. When you do make edits in Launchpad, it could take up to 24 hours for those edits to take effect, and you will likely receive an email stating that your Launchpad profile has been updated. All right, so here I have all of the details in here, and you would enter in all of the information, which is why I said, have your social media channels available, any additional websites that you wanted to link, phone numbers, so on and so forth. Uh, choose your email address. Basically, that's a bolded field, so that's a required field. So you're gonna need an email address. Uh, some options for your social media, so Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Then it's going to ask you for your service areas, and there will be some office service areas that we've already chosen, but you can also pick your own service areas. For example, I do a lot of work in Etobicoke, so I'm just gonna scroll down and choose the option Etobicoke because that is one of my favorite neighborhoods. Hopefully I can find it here, there it is. So I'm gonna click on Etobicoke once 
and it populates Etobicoke into, uh, into the service area one. So now I can think about other areas that I do work in and populate those into my service areas. So you can pick service areas that are far and wide. So uh, for example, I'm gonna pick Forest Hill, why not get so posh? Uh, there we have it. Uh, but you can pick other service areas that are a little bit further away. It's areas that you're familiar with and would be prepared to drive out and do showings in. So just pick the service areas that you feel comfortable working in. You don't have to fill up all five, but you do have five. All right, enter in the year of your license, your license information. That would be your RICO license. And then you get one choice of property management or heading home and rental. I chose home and rental because I thought it was the, the, you know, the most logical one for what I do. Some people I know choose relocation. I heard that that one's not as popular, which also means you could get more leads because other, other sales representatives and brokers are not choosing that one. However, if you don't do a lot of relocation work, then you may want to ch choose one of the standard ones. Your client preference, if you only work with buyers, choose buyers. If you only work with sellers, choose sellers. I think most of us are not picky. We'd probably take either. If you have a slogan, you can put in your slogan. If you do have a designation, so these are real estate designations, you can choose your real estate designation and the associations that you are affiliated with. So here in Canada, if you are a member of TREB, you are also a member of CREA and ORIA as well. Choose the type of real estate that you do, and then you can also choose the specialties. So to choose your specialties, it says here, choose one, hold the control key and click on the other ones. So you can have a lot of different specialties. So go ahead and pick several that you feel are types of business that you would like to encourage for yourself. If you also do commercial, go ahead and choose the options in commercial. But if you only chose residential here, you likely won't get presented with the option of commercial. You can put in your previous occupation if you wish and your degrees if you wish. Here's my board details. And then down here, it's, it's going to ask me for some additional information, more personal details. Now here, you do get a little bit of a bio, but a little mini one. So many of you have heard me re recommend you do like a long bio and a short bio. So this is the short bio that I'm referring to. Once you've finished all of those things, you click on request changes. And as I said, it will take uh, probably up to 24 hours for the changes to be approved. I've found lately that when I've been requesting changes, that those changes have been approved usually within a couple of hours. To edit your photo, you're going to go to the photo area and choose a photo, and your photo can't be any bigger than five megabytes. You do want one that is reflective of you, uh, a good, good version of you, and so basically you would choose your file, upload the image, and it would appear here. Again, same requirements, that it would take a little while for it to be approved, but not unlimited time. A couple of hours or maybe 24 hours, and your photo will be approved. So that's how you update your profile. Now your profile will actually show up when you go to remax.ca and you can do a search for yourself. So if I choose find an agent, agent search, and then I'll put in Pamela. There's lots of Pamela's by the way. I'll put in Pamela S that should filter out a whole bunch of Pamela's. And there's one Pamela Simons, c'est moi. And here's my profile. Once it's been completed using Launchpad, this is what I have. So here's my little mini pro, my little mini bio. These were all check boxes. Any, as you get going, your awards will be listed automatically. And any, uh, any um, listings that you have will also have a spot in here automatically, which is really nice. So that's what your page would look like. All right, I'm gonna head back out of my profile and back to Launchpad. So here I am, it, it put me on another tab, so I'm just gonna uh, close off on my tab here. All right, so the next thing to have a look at is the tool area, the apps. So to access all the apps, you can click on App Store, 
This will show you apps in different categories, or you could look at all the apps. Now you'll notice that some of them have a blue heart, and that means that I favorited that app. So the apps I'm recommending to you are resources, learning and development, regional blog, Remax University, Design Center, and Lead Street. And you know what? This one is super cool, make your own commercial. So that one's probably pretty good to favorite. Once you've added some of these apps, they, are, they may be duplicated in certain categories. For example, Lead Street was in the main set, but it's also in the lead management set. Some of the apps that you'll see here are actually programs that are discounted for us. So Remax has organized discount programs through a variety of different service providers. So whether it's a contact management, a software system, they've offered us some discounts. For marketing, Canada Post I recommend it. And again, you've got some other uh, marketing tools and website items. Uh, Reassis, I will go, I'm going to talk about Reassis at another time, but for now, I'm just going to have you choose it as a favorite. And the DocuSign features, we actually have that included as Remax Condos Plus people. So you don't need to choose those because we access them in a different way. And again, these are duplicated. So once you've chosen all of your apps, you can go back out and then you'll see that your apps are going to be listed, all your favorites here. I have three pages of favorited apps. So here I am, I can go to all three and those are all of my favorited apps. A little lower down, you're going to see that there's something here called My Feed and those are campaigns or other elements that have been published by Remax for us. So there's a number of different features in here. Also my listings, so if I had any listings, they would be here. And that is your basics of getting in and getting started to Launchpad. You'll want to explore a little bit. And my next video would be on Lead Street. So I'll just kind of get you in there and then we will talk about Lead Street and how the features work within Lead Street. Lead Street is your contact management system. So I'm hoping that this will meet many of your needs, but I'm going to come back and do a full video on this particular topic.